Welcome to Know Your Mobile. It's Basil here at the Asus booth at MWC 2013. We were on our way out when we decided we couldn't leave without giving you a product comparison between the Asus Padphone 2 and the Asus Padphone Infinity. The Infinity is the successor to the 2. The 2 has just been announced for release in the UK. It's going to be available from the end of March and you can pre-order one as of the 1st of March. It is, however, a pretty old device in comparison to the Asus Padfone Infinity. This was announced a while ago. The Infinity packs a full HD display by contrast. It also packs a newer version of Qualcomm's uh, processors, that's a 600, um, as opposed to the Snapdragon S4, both quad-core and both fantastic performers in general. The phone designs are also fundamentally different. If we, for example, pull out the Asus Padfone 2 and pull out the Padfone Infinity, we can see you've got these very, very different chassis. The user interfaces are quite similar. There's Android 4.2 Jelly Bean on the Pad Phone 2, um, but it's got an aluminium chassis, and this brushed metal effect on the back makes it feel very, very slick and premium. Um, if we we'll put that down, we can see the Pad Phone 2, in contrast to the Infinity, has a plastic backing. It's nice and grippy, don't get us wrong, but it definitely doesn't feel quite as rich in the hand. You do have this aluminium frame and a 720p display in contrast to the full HD display on the Padphone Infinity. Running Android as well, um, you do have access to all the Play Store applications and as these pack their own applications on there for your pleasure. Um, if we dock these two tablets, we'll see how well we do one-handed with this. One of them has successfully been docked, let's try that, and so has the other. Right, if we dock both these devices, we can see um, the UIs are pretty comparable, but the Padphone Infinity, as we said, packs 4.2 Jelly Bean. This means you get the notification bar up top and the three sticky on-screen keys at the bottom, and it's a much, much more unified experience with Android, and indeed with the phone experience you get when the phone is undocked. As far as design elements go, the tablet doesn't really have any ports on it per se, but you do have buttons. You've got a volume rocket to the left and the power button up top. You've also got a loud speaker, so it gives you a little bit of extra amplification. Um, on the phones themselves, this will require us pulling them out again. Um, you have, as we said, that aluminium body, micro SIM tray to the left hand side. Down below is a micro USB port, or it's a proprietary port on the phone, micro USB on the tablet, do you believe? Not entirely sure how that setup works. On the right side, you've got a power button and a volume rocker, as well as the speaker up top, 3.5mm headphone jack. Now, what's quite nice and clever is on the reverse, the pad phone insignia is actually the NFC point. Um, so, despite being a metal body, you do still get near field communication. Up top, 13 megapixel rear facing camera along with an LED flash. Taking a look at the original or the Padphone 2, we can see you've got pretty similar uh, amount of ports. So, the base, you've got that same port on the right side. Uh, volume rocker power button up top 3.5 mil jack micro sim eject tray flipping it round it does have nfc um plastic backing that isn't an issue and a 13 megapixel camera once again we're not entirely sure if this is the module found on the sony xperia t think the new version has the new sony exmor rs sensor though don't quote us on that Fundamentally as well, as we said, the processors are different. Two gig of RAM on each, but there's a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 in the Xperia, uh, sorry, <laughs> a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 in the Pad Phone 2, and a Qualcomm Snap, uh, Snapdragon 600 in the Infinity. That display is also gorgeous, packing a PPR, that's pixels per inch, of 441. As far as batteries go, um, both devices pack pretty huge batteries inside, but they've also got rechargeable batteries inside the docks for when they're docked. So that's been a quick comparison between the Pad Phone and the Pad Phone 2. If you've got any questions, please fire us a comment below. And please, if you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Just subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. Know your mobile.